So we can use the command sudo mysql dump and now we use the switch dash dash all dash databases yeah databases and then we redirect that into a sql backup dot sql file Oh, I forgot we have to provide our username root and its password and enter enter the password okay so we do an ls al now so we should see a SQL backup file you see it's already a little bit bigger 478,015 so in now I'm pretty sure we can um, um, pipe that through a, G a gzip program to com compress the file. So use that gzip and then export that to a SQL backup dot SQL dot gz file and enter again the root password and done. And by the way, if you're asking yourself, what, is, what in the heck is the uh, root password? It's the one you set out when you installed the SQL uh, server itself. You know, during, um, if you use an Ubuntu system or Debian system, during the installation, it will ask you to provide a root user password. And that's the one you have to use here. So now, let's have a look. <coughs> and now we have here, you see, the file shrink very much, very much. It's now from a plain text file from 478,000 to 129,000. So that is a big difference. So if you back that up to a tape, you save a lot of space. So now you're probably asking yourself, how the heck can I uh, restore the um, the, the backup I've done in case I need to restore the entire database so that we can use again the MySQL command itself yeah, sudo and then MySQL and then we enter the database name like for example the backup um, test as the database and then we tell them basically um, the username root the password and then we use the other uh, pipe the other direction so that we import from file into the database on the database server and we use the backup test SQL and enter provide the root user password and done so that's basically how you uh, look what kind of databases you have on your SQL server back them up back them up and compress them and restore the databases and there's one other way if you want to restore all the databases you have backed up once before yeah, all together with one SQL statement file, you can use the uh, sudo mysql and then uh, we have the SQL backup SQL file. Oh, that's wrong. You have to, um, yeah, it's basically right. Dash u for root, dash p, and then basically import the file. You see we're not specifying here in which database it should import because um, if I understand that correctly the SQL statement file has the database name in it and that way SQL knows okay 
that's the database that's its data to import it right into the right database so hit enter here provide the root user password hit enter it takes a little bit and voila it's done no error message all good messages so I think um, that's it for today and I hope that you uh, enjoyed and thought it's helpful to create MySQL um, backups and I uh, will say thank you very much for watching Ubuntu Videocast. See you next time.